Hello and what is up peeps, my name is Shinmin Takazo, welcome back to another video. So, we're in the advanced server, there are four heroes that got remade. We got uh, this hero Chang'e, uh, Kaja uh, has changes as well, and also Nana, uh, and also Diggy. So we're gonna go through all of them in this one video and I hope this helped you out. I think it's very interesting that they're making changes on this um, sometimes used hero. So let's talk about Chang and let's see what changed with her. So they mentioned that they changed skill one, so we're gonna check that out first. So um, it looks like this now. It looks like it goes through enemies now. So it's not that multiple beams of damage anymore, but it goes goes through enemies and definitely deals more damage now. The only problem here is if you like using Chang Eh, if you're 1% of the players that use this hero, there's no stun now. There is no stun. There's no way you're gonna stun people. It only says here that you'll be slowing them down by 20%, and that's it. So, yeah. I mean, it sucks, but potentially you can do more damage to a team because you can hit more than one person. People can't block. The, your skill one shots now and also it can be enhanced let's talk about her skill two so her skill two changed as well it is now a buff to her so she speeds up and she gets these two crazy bunnies b beside her like you see flying so i don't know how long she has this she moves really fast and if you use a let's say a basic attack it will have a special effect while you have these crazy bunnies when we attack that, so aside from the physical damage that came out from Chang'e, you got two magic damages coming out from these bunnies. While you have these bunnies, your skill one will now look like this. Bam, dude, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage just by having these bunnies. So I think it's pretty good. You don't have the stun anymore, but the damage potential, if you can hit your targets, your skill shots, will be so awesome dude look that's a lot of damage i keep saying that don't i all right so now her ultimate so i think this is one of the major changes sorry Layla, you're gonna get abused again so oh boy jeez bubble bath is what that is it's pretty op that these bunnies don't disappear after using them i mean after using skill too I mean, you can just use your skills enhance all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a bug, but probably if they fix it, these bunnies have a duration or, or of some sort. But man, this ultimate is crazy. Look at the damage. Yeah, I think it's, it's much better than the previous ult. You don't have to risk missing your target and the bunnies, rem remember the bunnies, not hitting the target or not chasing the target. You don't hit them the first time with a big bunny ball right so um well that's it for chang e. let's move on to the next hero all right boys and girls next up is kaja or kaya whatever you like all right i don't i don't really know uh what the right pronunciation is so some changes to kaja says that um his passive is now different so every few seconds he gets this empowered basic attack there you go so you can see the icon here it means that his next basic attack will deal extra magic damage bam okay and it has uh how many seconds cooldown six seconds cooldown it zaps enemies and the damage is increased by how much HP they have. So if the enemy has a higher HP, the more damage this passive will deal. So another effect is if you basic attack someone or an enemy and there's someone else close to them, they'll get zapped as well. So let's let's try it here. There you go. So as, as you can see, both these jungle monsters got zapped. I don't really know how many enemies can get zapped by that. Maybe I should try it later. But hey, that's a pretty cool passive. His passive was just boosting his speed. It's pretty useful, but it's not offensive, right? I don't know what you're trying to do with uh, Birdman here, but... 
he has the potential to deal more damage now, I guess. So, that is his passive. His skill 1, Ring of Order, and I don't think they change a lot to it. Still is the same, damage and slow enemies, but it will reduce the cooldown of your passive now. If you hit enemies with it. So, uh, let's use our passive. And then, there you go. It's available again because I hit someone with the Ring of Order. When it comes to his skill 2, I think they changed this as well. He doesn't have a dash anymore. Jeez, Kaj is going to be so different to play. So he has... He speeds up though. Okay, so that's good. And he lays eggs. Electric eggs, it seems. Jeez, man. He really is a lightning type Pokemon. Alright, it says here that it deals damage to enemies that... Touches his eggs, I guess. Let's let's try it with Gatted here. Touch my egg, man. There you go. Gatted got damaged by touching my egg. Oh, he avoided that one. Okay. There we go. Layla is taking damage by touching our balls. Okay. Those are electric, Layla. What are you? What were you thinking? So that's it, and his ultimate leaves unchanged. It's still the same thing, but wow, okay, that's a combo. That's a combo right there. Let's try that again. So if you um, ult someone, right, instead of just dragging them to your teammates, you can now lay eggs underneath them and dam damage them at the same time. So ult and then skill two. Bam, right? Potential, potential kill on the enemy, like that. So yeah, I think I think uh, what they're trying to do to Kaja or Kaya here is uh, be more of a damage-oriented type of support, right? Not just for setting up kills like he is right now in the original server. All right, moving on. Next revamp. Okay, now we have Nana, our girl Nana, who is uh, underaged. Let us check out what changed. Actually, nothing, nothing much changed with Nana. They changed her passive though so you don't get any gold anymore you don't get free monies from just afking in base as nana all right so that's gone uh that's not yet in the game anymore what happens now is if you take a lot of damage for example in team fights or if you're foolish enough to go into the tower range like what i'm doing right here something happens something magical happens bam okay you turn into this <laughs> freaking <laughs> what is that what is that? Freaking Ewoks, man. The passive works like this. If Nana, within 90 seconds, the, the passive's cooldown is 90 seconds. If Nana takes a damage that would kill her, she turns into some sort of furry, and then she doesn't take any damage. She um, gets extra movement speed, but she can't use any skills, right? So apparently this passive cannot be affected by cooldown so just re you really have to wait 90 seconds before you can suicide again like we're doing right now let's take a damage that would kill us and come on faster dude oh you're level one okay take your time then and there you go you get healed a bit you get movement speed you're immune to everything but you could not use skills or attack so i guess it will be hard to kill nana now every 90 seconds i don't know what i think about it is a pretty good pretty good change i guess if you put immortality on her she would be a real pain in the ass to kill i guess yeah yeah aside from that same skill 2 annoying molina and same skill 3 that's annoying to land on enemies but that's it and they also say that if you use execute on nana you automatically win the game now totally fake news and lastly we got diggy here with slight change on his skill one so only on his skill one did he get a change so yeah remember those bombs that you need to time before they explode right so maybe you don't need that anymore because there you go it friggin acts like molina now <laughs> look at that look at that chase man look at that chase oh well i have the cooldown turned off so but yeah that's how it works now so it will chase people i'm 
Not sure how far, but it's pretty good. I mean, you can make sure that you deal damage with this skill now. And it's going to be pretty reliable, I think. But another bad thing here is just like Chang uh, skill 1, it, it has no stun now. So it, it will only slow people down and deal damage to them. So it also says that this can stay there for 30 seconds max. It's pretty good for scouting bushes, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's it. I mean, skill 2 is still the same thing and skill 1... Yeah, no changes, so... But hey, let me know what you think about these changes in the comment section below. And I hope this... Um, I hope this helps you in uh, getting prepared. If you have not bought these heroes, if you if you think these changes are sick and good, then maybe now's the time to spend money on these support heroes. So again, my name is Shinman Tagazo. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.